Shall the Town of Hampton vote to adopt the optional tax credit for combat service under the provisions of RSA 72-28C in accordance with the procedure of RSA 72-27A with said exemption to be $500. The tax credit for combat service shall be subtracted each year from the property tax on the qualifying service member's residential real estate as defined in RSA 72-29 Roman II. To qualify for the tax credit for combat service, a person shall be a resident of this state engaged at any point during the taxable period in combat service as a member of the New Hampshire National Guard or reserve or a reserve component of the United States Armed, First, Armed Forces called to active duty. For purposes of this section and in accordance with the Internal Revenue Service Publication 3 Armed Forces Tax Guide, combat service shall mean military service in one of the following areas. A, an active combat area as designated by the President in an executive order for which the service member receives a special receive special pay for duty subject to hostile fire or imminent danger as certified by the Department of Defense. B, a support area as designated by the Department of Defense in direct sustainment of military operations in the combat zone for which the service member receives special pay for duty subject to hostile fire or imminent danger as certified by the Department of Defense. C, service in a contingency operation as designated by the Department of Defense for which the service member receives special pay for duty subject to hostile fire or imminent danger as certified by the Department of Defense. The application for the tax credit shall be accompanied by the service member's military orders and shall include such information as may be required for the assessor's office to verify dates of combat service. The service member shall be eligible for the credit in each tax year in which the combat service occurs, but the credit may be prorated in the second tax year based on the duration of combat service. The tax credit for combat service shall be in lieu of and not in addition to the optional veterans tax credit under RSA 72-28 or the all veterans tax credit under RSA 72-28B. A majority vote is required to pass Article 14. It's recommended by the Board of Selectmen 5-0. Motion to open discussion on Article 14. Do I have a motion? So motion moved. Uh, moved by Mr. Bridal. Do I have a second? Seconded by Mr. Woodall. Is there anyone who wishes to speak to Article 14? I see Mr. Rice. Would you like to be heard on Article 14? Thank you, Mr. Moderator. Fred Rice, 15 Heather Lane. Uh, I rise in strong support of this item but I'd like to clarify it so that everybody else can enjoy the same degree of strong support. Uh, we have other items that compensate our veterans, and this is not the same thing at all. Uh, right now we have the uh, optional veterans tax credit, which meant that somebody was served for 90 days on active duty and received an honorable discharge and served during certain designated time periods was eligible for the property tax credit. Uh, a couple of years ago when I served in the state legislature, I was the prime sponsor of a bill to extend that to take away those time periods so that everybody who served for 90 days and had an honorable discharge on active duty and, and got an honorable discharge would be eligible for the tax credit. The basis of that being that everybody who served should be eligible, not just those who served in certain specific times, because uh, all service is, is uh, laudable. This is a totally different thing. This is when you call up the reserve or the, the National Guard and they go on active duty and they're eligible for this property tax credit in the year that they go. So if somebody is called to go to what is called a combat zone, then they are eligible for the property tax credit during that year. If they go for something from September of one year into the, the next year, uh, March of the next year or something like that, they, it'll be prorated uh, in, those, in, those, in that second year. Um, or it may be probated, uh, prorated. Um, but one thing I think that is important, this is not necessarily for being in combat. Doesn't mean they should not be compensated and recognized for their service because that's the important element of this. But just so you, everybody understands that this is not for combat is when you're shooting at the enemy and he's shooting at you. I will tell you, I'm a combat veteran from Vietnam 
and yes, there's a big difference between serving in the stockade uh, back that happens to be at the base camp. Uh, the, re the green zone in Iraq was a, was a fortified compound of 20,000 people and uh, 20,000 American troops who never left, but they were in a combat zone. This is a similar type of thing, and it covers a number of areas. Uh, the combat zone could be anywhere in Afghanistan, anywhere in Kosovo. You know we're not having a shooting war in Kosovo right now. The Arabian Peninsula, all of the Gulfs, the, the Persian Gulf, the Red Sea, the Gulf of Oman, the Arabian Sea, the Gulf of Aden. You know we're not shooting there. The Navy is serving there, though, and it's considered as a combat zone. Um, the Sinai Peninsula, uh, all of these areas, there's no active combat going on, and we have advisory troops over there, so that very few of them are in combat, 10% of all the troops who ever serve in a forward zone actually see combat. That does not mean that they are not worthy of receiving this same credit for their service. Remember, it's the service. These are the guys that don't get to come home that night uh, and, and sleep on clean